Stick around with me today. I'll give you two free tips on things that may one, save the screen on your device and two, make something a little bit simpler for you. If like me, you have aging eyes and can't see that well. Today, we're looking at my Kaiweets KM601. This is absolutely my favorite multimeter. And tip number one, always put your screen down in your case. That way, if you have other things over here that are sharp and jagged, they don't touch the screen. Seems like that should be intuitive, but not necessarily. So what are we doing today? The Kaiweets Cam 601 is my favorite multimeter of all time. And guess what? I blew the fuse. See it up here? That's an indicator that I have a fuse problem. So let's talk about this real quick. I'm an amateur radio operator. That's all about experimenting and learning. And every once in a while, it turns into amateur night here at the shack. I blew a fuse. I'm going to show you how to change it out today. PCBWay.com, your one-stop shop for PCBs, PWAs, 3D printing, CNC machining, and so much more. Whether you're a large manufacturer looking for a full-scale production run or a single individual hobbyist ready to develop your prototype, PCBWay can help you with your project. And head on over right now to see what they have available for their 10th anniversary. Check it out and take advantage of special discounts and projects associated with this event. Go ahead and power down your multimeter, get it ready to disassemble. Mine has a cover around the entire exterior of it in case I drop it. That's just a bumper guard. So I have to remove that to get access to the screws that are on the back of the case. I keep my favorite miniature screwdriver set right here next to me in the shack. I just grab it. It's at arm's length away and I have umpteen different screw heads for the various equipment that I have in my shack that I might need to work on from time to time. Select the right bit and find out how many screws you have to take out of your particular device and make that happen. Here all of a sudden I'm thinking, what am I going to do with these tiny screws? So so I grab one of my containers that's magnetized and now I don't have to worry about losing any of the screws. So far I have uncovered three screws when I pulled off that final cover. It uh, identified another two that needed to be taken out and now all five screws are in the magnetic parts holder and I don't have to worry about losing them. It takes a pry bar to loosen the back case from the rest of the multimeter. You're going to have to figure this out if you're doing something other than the KM601, but this is what I have to do is just pry that apart. You can see I have two fuses here. I'm going to replace them both. I think I only blew one. I did order some these fuses in advance from Kaiweets. You can get these on Amazon, but I ordered specifically from Kaiweets. Here's tip number two. I can't see the markings on the fuse. If you take your phone and you just uh, enlarge in it, you know, if you're using your camera, you can see the writing on a lot of things that perhaps you can't see without a magnifying glass. So use your cell phone as a magnifying glass. There's your tip. You almost always have your cell phone on you. So now I'm going to have to do the same thing to identify that fuse that I removed because I'm not quite certain which one it is. I have two different types of fuses here. Once I figure out which one goes in, I've replaced it. And now I'm going to do the same thing on fuse number two. I send this about 20 feet across the room. Actually, my shack is only six feet wide. But if it was wider, this thing went flying. Let's look at it in slow-mo here. Here we go. That was worth a slow-mo look. I'm doing the same thing here. I'm identifying the fuse I pulled out to make sure that I'm inserting the correct one back in because I want my multimeter to act like it is brand new. And now I have two completely replaced fuses. Just pressing them into place to assure that nothing's loose, that I have good contact. And now we just reverse the process. Let's figure out how to snap the case back on. We do have some rubberized buttons. We wanna make sure that they align correctly with the PCB on the inside of this multimeter. And yep, there we go. I messed up the top cover. So I just had to pull that back a little bit and snap it into place. Once I get the cover snapped on correctly, then it's just a matter of putting the screws back in. Do pay attention to your hardware. I have one machine screw and four screws that are not really wood screws, but I'm a carpenter by trade, so I look at them as wood screws. They're for the plastic. So make sure you put the right screw 
in the right location. I'm going to assume that you really already know how to do that, so I'm not going to go through every one of those. I did want to check before I put the screws back in, is everything working correctly? You should notice already I put the batteries in correctly. Nope, it's not going to work. <laughs> At least twice I took the batteries out and put them back in, back to that eyesight thing. It's a little bit difficult for me sometimes to see things these days. I eventually got it correct, got the polarization right on these AA batteries, and then I was good to go. Everything looks good, appears correct. My little notification that I have a blown fuse is gone. My Kaiweets KM601 is as good as new. I'm pretty happy about that. So let's go ahead and power down. We'll start screwing everything back in place and eventually get our cover back on. I am just checking here real quick. You see me pause for a moment. I'm looking in the parts bin. Do I have everything correct? Yep, four screws that'll go into the plastic inserts and then one screw that is a uh, metal screw, a machine screw. So I have everything where it belongs. Go ahead and put all the tools back into the mini kit. They all snap into place. They tightly fit in. So I just had to dump that one out because I missed the original slot. And now it's off to the side ready for the next job. Putting on the boot, the cover, yep, I had it upside down. We eventually got it right, and my KM601 is as good as new. I'm a happy camper. And that's how we make sure that our favorite multimeter lives to see another day. Simple tips today. Hope you found this useful. Talk to you soon, friend. 73.